This was a hell of a day for Gabby Petito's mom and dad. Nicole Schmidt and Joe Petito came face to face with Brian Laundrie's dad. If you can believe it, in two years, that has not happened. But they are suing the Laundries based on what they say was intentional infliction of emotional distress. They say the Laundries knew that their son had killed their daughter, right? They knew that, that Brian Laundrie, their son, had killed the Petito's daughter, Gabby, and refused to answer their questions when the, when the Petitos were simply saying, where's our daughter? We can't find her. Where is she? What do you know? So in the deposition, Joe Petito is in the room with Christopher Laundrie, Brian's dad, right? Brian's long dead, found dead in the park. Shot himself, easy way out, after killing Gabby. And Nicole Schmidt, Gabby's mom, is watching the whole thing on Zoom, so she's part of it, right? And this is what Joe said. He described Christopher's Laundrie's testimony as gut-wrenching, and Nicole Schmidt said, quote, it was extremely hurtful to listen to someone that has no remorse and no compassion for the girl they would call their daughter-in-law. Remember, Gabby was engaged to Brian. She'd even lived with the Laundries at one point. She and Brian lived with the Laundries. Roberta Laundry, that's Brian's mom, she is set to be deposed tomorrow. Cassie Laundry, that's Brian's sister, she's set to be deposed after that. So. Gabby's parents are going to have to go through this a few more times, but that trial, that civil trial, is uh, expected to um, happen May 2024. Intentional infliction of emotional distress. God bless the Petitos for having to go through this. I'm sure it's been very hard on the laundries. They lost a son, too. But it was unforgivable not to tell the Petito family anything while they suffered in silence about their daughter. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.